What's up guys, Zalika here. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're gonna jump into Tech Tuesday episode 11. And today we're gonna be looking through Amazon and all the new products that they have currently compared to the previous time. We're gonna see what's new, what's happening, and what we can afford and what we can't afford. The really nice fancy things that we wanna buy and the fancy things that are just too stupid to even think about spending your money on. All right guys, here we have it. Back again to the new arrivals in the electronics section on Amazon. Let's go ahead and check it out, see what we find. First off, let's go to the video game section, see if there's anything new there. Okay, well what do we have here? Oh, I did not notice this. I knew they were coming out with another limited edition, but I didn't realize they were coming out with the Call of Duty limited edition. So it looks like this is the new limited edition PS4 Slim, one terabyte console. And it comes with like a camo, camo-ish design. It looks like only the top is camo covered and the rest of it's just green. It's interesting, but personally, I think it's ugly as crap. But hey, that's just me. But then again, there's a lot of people out there that collect consoles that sit in their basements. So to those of you, check it out. Ooh, I was checking this out before, and I am really interested in possibly getting this to test out. I'm not sure. You guys remember how I had the Vanguard gaming briefcase? Well, I ended up selling that because I never used it. But now, there's certain instances where I wish I had it, so I kind of wish I never sold it. So this looks like it's a real viable option to try out. This is the Hori Universal HD gaming monitor for the PlayStation 4. Well, it says for PlayStation 4, but it's universal. I believe it's just plugged in through AC adapter and with a HDMI cable. Looks really neat. Yeah, so you can connect it with any any of these devices, the Switch, the Xbox One, PS4, or PC. Has a foldable leather kickstand. Nice stitching, nice design. Folds out. It looks like a tablet, literally the size of a tablet. Okay, $200. It's a little pricey, but for what you're getting, it might be worth it. I'm not sure the quality of the screen or the speakers or, oh, it has included speakers. It has headphone outputs. So to see what this one looks like, the colors, the contrast, the resolution of it, it might be worth it. I have to check it out when the time comes. Hopefully I can get my hands on this later down the road. You know what? Let me go. I'm going to go to a different section on Amazon. So this is the new arrivals. I'm gonna go to the coming soon, the stuff that's all pre-orders, that's not actually available for purchase yet. There we go, see now we have the good stuff. All new Fire TV with 4K Ultra HD. See, if you have a brand new 4K TV, you're gonna to wanna to acquire something like this or the new Apple 4K Apple TV. You're gonna want something like this to get the most out of your TV and use the 4K footage from the streaming providers that are within the actual product. So Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Originals, all that stuff that provides 4K quality, you need one of these players or a PS4 or a Xbox One, something like that to get that quality standard onto your TV. This is the cheaper alternative, which if you're not looking to buy 4K Blu-rays, you're not looking to buy any of that, the limited edition, collect your steel books, all that nonsense, and you just want to stream 4K, very cheap alternative. And I believe Google has their own also. I'm not exactly sure how much that costs, but $70 to get 4K to your brand new 4K TV, that's not going to break the bank. That's a really good deal. And then the Nintendo Switch, Super Mario Odyssey Edition. Definitely going to want to grab one of these guys. I know it doesn't seem worth it now because, oh, the Switch is in stock. There's no point, but it's going to sell out. Just watch. When it comes November, Christmas time, this bundle is going to be gone. At least I think so. You're getting two of the same color Joy-Cons, which no bundles, no console. Like They have all been different. If you wanted two blue, two red, you had to spend the 40 or $80 to buy the additional Joy-Cons just to get the matching set. So with this one, you're getting the matching red set, you're getting the limited edition case, and you're getting the game. That's another thing. A lot of people have been looking into this, but I'm not really... 
I'm not feeling it. It's a Chromebook. First laptop with Google Assistant built in, features 7th gen Intel Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. But then again, it's a Chromebook. I personally, for a thousand dollars, you could get a brand new MacBook Air. Heck, for I think a hundred dollars more, you can get a MacBook and get better processing power than you would out of this. Only because you have an actual operating system. It will be interesting to see how far Chrome OS has come in the past few years. So seeing that with this, it could be an interesting buy, but I still think the thousand dollar price point for the base model is just a little outrageous. Ah, and look at this, everybody, Apple start, well not Apple, I think the first ones that started it were Braggy the Dash, those were the ones that I was interested in first, and they're still waterproof, so these none of these guys had that, at least not that I know of. Everybody is jumping in on the true wireless earbud market. Braggy, Apple, uh, Samsung with the Icon X, and you got the Jaybird, uh, I forgot what they're called, the Jaybird, you got Sony, you got Bose, you got B&O. All these companies jumping in on the true wireless Bluetooth headsets. I'm telling you guys, it's uh, it's mind-blowing to have just two earbuds in and that's it. No cord, no headphone, no nothing, nothing there. Just in your ears and that's it. Everybody's jumping in on it. It's a real convenient thing to have. I still think that for the price, Apple is the best. Okay, and here we have. This is Sony's GoPro type camera. It's not exactly supposed to compete with the GoPro. The functions of this are completely different. The use of it is completely different. But the good thing that this has is it shoots, I believe it shoots 4K, but it doesn't make you do the super wide angle. I believe it's just linear like normal regular camera. So I think that's the best part. And it has a Zeiss lens, which is really good if you know anything about the Sony camera lineup. If it has that Zeiss quality lens, the, the image quality is going to be amazing. But definitely if you're into camera gear and you're into camera equipment, check this out. It looks really nice. I've seen videos on the image quality and it's super, super crispy. It looks so nice. I want one, but I don't need it. Ooh, Canon 135mm f4L macro tilt shift DSLR lens. Well, that's a mouthful. Ooh. And $2,200. Hey, anybody want to buy that for me? Let me know. I'll take it. Christmas is right around the corner. Okay, we'll do one last one just for the sake of time and not trying to spend, make you guys spend an hour here just hanging out with me. I know you guys want to, and I want to hang out with you guys for an hour, but we got, we got, to, take, hey, we got to take things slow here, guys, all right? Take it easy. Take it easy. The Nyko Core Controller for Nintendo Switch. A uh, cheaper alternative, I would say, to the Switch Pro Controller, although the Switch, the Pro Controller is amazing. I love it. It's a godsend of all controllers. It's one of the best. I would say the Xbox One controller, then the Switch controller, and then everything else is just whatever. It looks cheap, not going to lie, but for $20, it doesn't look bad as an alternative to the $80 Switch Pro Controller. One core controller, works with PC, turbo feature. LED indicators, programmable buttons, I'm guessing that's for PC, maybe you can program them for Switch 2, maybe not, that would be pretty cool. Precision buttons, ergonomic grips, yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. 10 foot cord, that's long enough, not too long, you're still going to be stuck on the couch, you're obviously you're not going to be able to take this thing to the bathroom with you and still play. Well. Yeah, I don't know how that would work. Just forget I brought that up. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much wraps up Tech Tuesday, episode 11. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the products. Everything I did show you guys will be down in the description below. I'll link everything. So if you guys want to check it out and you're interested, go ahead and do so. And just a sneak peek for next week's Tech Tuesday. It's going to happen again on Tuesday, episode 12. We're going to be going through Kickstarter, checking to see if there's anything new, anything interesting, anything worth backing. If you guys did like this video, like, subscribe, share if you can, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.